Cody Brundage is gonna knock Bo Nickel the f out. Said nobody ever. Look, I don't mind Bo Nickel that much. I know some people in the MMA community are really against him because he's getting pushed hard and he has come nowhere close to proving himself in the UFC. But I followed his collegiate wrestling career. He's a super high level wrestler. So I have a lot of respect for him. But this fight with Cody Brundage is an absolute joke. Let's start off with the most egregious thing. This fight is on the main card. And Yuri Prohaska is literally in the prelims. That is an absolute joke. UFC 300, which is supposed to be the biggest, the best card ever, literally has Bo Nickel as the first fight on the main card. What is that? Instead, they have Cody Garbrandt and Davison Figueredo as the first early prelim fight? What is that? They're both former champions. That is absolutely disrespectful. How about you put the unranked, untested Bo Nickel as the first early prelim fight? And look, I like Bo Nickel, but the UFC is not doing him any favors by putting him here because every single fan knows this is absolute b Regarding the matchup between Bo Nickel and Cody Brundage, I mean, it's nothing special. It's gonna be an easy Bo Nickel win. The only way Cody Brundage has a chance of beating Bo Nickel is if he somehow catches him on the feet, but that's not going to happen. Bo Nickel's gonna take him down and do whatever he wants to him, or he's gonna knock out Cody Brundage on the feet because Bo Nickel does have knockout power. Look, everybody knows Bo Nickel has a lot of potential. He might be a UFC middleweight champion someday, but these gimme fights, man. I think I speak for everybody that we all would have liked to see Bo Nickel fight someone a little bit more impressive. Now, I'm not saying put him in there against Sean Strickland or Drickus Duplessis or Adesanya. And Bo Nickel, he says he's super confident. He says he would give all these top middleweights tough fights. So, okay, if he believes that, then why don't you give him someone like Paul Craig or Chris Curtis? Some of you might say, oh, that's rushing. You're going to be rushing Bo Nickel. Bo Nickel already has elite level. He he probably has the best wrestling in the middleweight division. Besides maybe Hamza, who knows? And yeah, his striking isn't there yet. But look, you're not going to become a high level, a better striker by crushing cans. And it's not like Bo Nickel needs to really overdevelop his striking. I mean, he needs to have a base level of striking, but the obvious game plan is for him to take people down, grind them out, beat them up on the ground. I mean, that's that's the game plan, honestly. That's what everyone knows he's going to do. So he should play into that. I mean, look at Khabib. Khabib had the same game plan. Everyone knew what he was going to do, but it was so good, you couldn't stop it. And Khabib's striking was pretty mid, but the threat of the takedown made his striking a lot more effective. And that's exactly what Bo Nickel should do, he can do, and he must do to be a successful middleweight. Here's the plan right now. Here's what he should be doing. Fight Paul Craig or Chris Curtis. And then after Bo Nickel beats either one, he then fights Jack Hermanson. And then he fights someone like Brandon Allen or Marvin Vittori. And then fight someone in the top four like Sean Strickland, Adesanya, Whitaker, Jared Cannonier, and then after that, he gets a title shot. That's the perfect four-fight plan. It's pretty similar to the Alex Behera plan, but that's what Bo Nickel should do. And I don't know about you, but I don't think anyone would be complaining if that's the path he went down. But hey, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think Cody Brundage has a chance at beating Bo Nickel? And what do you think Bo Nickel should be doing instead of his current fight with Cody Brundage? Do you agree with my four-fight plan? For Bo Nickel. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to the LSFC YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.